What's going on guys, Joe with GRC here. So I just wanna give you behind the scenes of making of taking an RC vehicle, running it downtown St. Pete in real traffic and uh, what had happened. So our first RC car, well my first RC car was not gonna be the Traxxas Rustler VXL 4x4, it was actually the Arma Creighton. I had run this thing earlier and was like, you know, it was doing like 50 miles an hour on the grass and uh, you know, as far as in the dirt and I was like, you know, let's take this one. You know, it's a newer vehicle. It's bigger. It's got a bigger presence. And, you know, maybe I'll get more views that way. So it's like, all right. But I saw I ran the truck back and forth, like I said, on the grass and dirt. And it was all good. It did have like a little bit of a delay in, when it was at short range. So I was like, something's, something's weird with this thing. And then he's like, hey, why, you know, we've seen some videos where, you know, people take these cars on in city traffic. And I was like, yeah, I've been wanting to do that, but I wasn't really sure. And I had a weird feeling like I had that voice where it just says, you know, not a good idea. Not today or what have you. But I was like, all right, since let's go ahead. Let's just test run this thing on this side street instead of in traffic. Even though traffic, you know, we're talking like 25, 30 miles an hour anyhow. So it's not like anything fast that we're going to put it out in that uh, situation. But um, anyway, so I tested it. And of course, here's the video clip of us uh, trying to take it out there and then you can see what happens. All right, so you saw what happened. So the RC vehicle, we got it, we had it in the grass. We were in Brian's car. I was recording or I was driving and uh, GoPro is on top of the Arma crate in here. So testing it, steering in it, what have you, just kind of testing all out. And I noticed the steering and, and the throttle was acting a little bit funky on it, but it, was, it wasn't so bad when I was out in, in the open field. And I was like, something's weird with this thing. And I gave it a little bit of throttle and I was like, uh, something's not, something's weird with this thing. And then I gave it again and it, then it just shot. It just took off. And uh, right there, I was like, my heart dropped, man. I was like, oh crap. Uh, that's not exactly the words, but uh, um, anyway, with that is the fact that, well, you saw what happened. So it shoots off, it takes off. And then thankfully, it flips itself over, knocking my GoPro off, which I was not happy about, but it could have been worse. It just scratched the case, but no damage, no scuffs or scratches on the GoPro itself, all is good as well. So I was happy on that part of it, so it's all good. But don't know what really happened with the radio or, or the receiver in this case here, but you know what, I hate this radio anyway. It's an RTR and it's garbage. And uh, yeah, let's go with Traxxas. And I know also when it comes to, what am I thinking here? Uh, Kyosho, they have it. So you get, so like their base model, they get, you get one remote where it just has all the little, let's say the knobs that are there where you can adjust it all. And then when you want to get into the other one, they give you a digital remote because if you spent more, you can add more cars to it and all that good fun stuff. And the same thing with the, you know, the Traxxas one, you get stability management, you get it where you can add a Bluetooth module, you can add stuff in there, you can set up different profiles, same thing with the Kyosho. It doesn't have Bluetooth or anything, but you can go in there and program it and all that good fun stuff. Uh, you know, with this one here, 550 bucks, let's say, you get this crappy freaking radio. It's crappy. And uh, anyway, with that is, uh, I expected more, it's got a, you know, there's no foam, there's no rubber grip to it. There's, it's not digital. It's just analog touch here, whatever. It's just, it's a garbage radio. And the tactic radio was definitely nicer. And uh, they definitely cheaped out on that. As far as the truck goes, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs>
until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. Thank you for watching. Also, since we don't carry these vehicles, but you know, check out what we do have. We got batteries, we got chargers, we got other RC vehicles, Kyosho, uh, Team Associated, DHK, uh, G made. There's a whole bunch of them that are in there. So you just gotta check it all out. We, we, if you go to our website, you can just go to brands and you can see all the list of all the different stuff that we do carry. There's a lot of stuff there that I can't remember. Anyway. You guys take care and thank you for watching. We're getting closer to that 1,000 mark as far as subscribers, so appreciate that. Until next time, it's Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care.